Early morning starts were rare for me, but after having four hours of sleep, I felt I was ready to take on the world. But first things first. Bang. Today I would reformat my PC. Not that there's much wrong with it, but over time it gradually slows down and little niggles begin to appear that are easiest dealt with with a simple purge. My PC is the product of a lot of tweaking over the years, and I now feel that I have found the perfect setup. I have five separate hard drives. The first is a small 120GB SSD. It's fast and I install the operating system and my most important programs on it. This keeps it running nice and fast. Next is… well, let's just leave that one for now. Programs and Games contains my Steam folder, along with the rest of the games and programs that I need to use. And finally, there are these two backups, which should in theory be identical since they hold the same information, just in case one blows up. These store all of my games, videos, maps, music and memories of my life, and if I lost these I'd just go kill myself because there would be no point in living anymore. The best thing about this setup is that it's very easy to reformat, since only the SSD gets wiped. Although most of my life is a mess, my PC is surprisingly clean. All I have to do is to clear the desktop, downloads folder and save any game saves I want to keep, and then I can reformat. The process usually takes about two hours before I'm back online with everything set up. That's the one good thing about having done this so many times, I know the routine pretty well. I can delete all of these WinRAR crackers. I've never had to use them, but I'd like to know that I have a decent speed brute force program should I ever have to. Oh, my website that I've been working on. Never fear, I have it all backed up on my two large hard drives. I think. Suburbs Remake is a port of an old CSS map. I really want to get this one done at some point, but other things keep on getting in the way. Until then, it's to the recycle bin with you. If I get ideas for future things, I normally leave a titled Word document on my desk to irritate me into making it. Ooh, free pawn passes. It's working! It's working! It's working! I love reading spam out loud. Some of it can be pretty amusing. That's how sad I am. This was my research into the custom skins for CSGO, and a potential tutorial showing people how to. I decided that since only the very best skins would be accepted using Valve's model selection process, and that making the best would require a very long and boring tutorial, I decided not to make it. In short, I was lazy. My trusty to-do for the day file. It never goes to plan, but at least I can see how I'm doing compared to how I thought I'd do at the beginning of the day. Even my chaotic lifestyle needs some planning, and this is it. Let's just put it in this folder for now. The useful folder contains all of the files and templates that I need in day-to-day -day things that I make. It also serves as a dumping ground for ideas as they come to me. I should easily be able to back it all up since it's probably not too big. 15 gigabytes! I wondered why my SSD was always full. I'll go into that in my own time. And finally, it's my going low in CSGO game template. Since the first game is finished, I'm only holding on to this for nostalgic reasons, plus somewhere in this massively long video file is that classic face that's on the thumbnail for the video series. Oh well, the second series will just have to have a better one. Goodbye folder. I won't bore you with the rest, time to reformat. I don't know about you, but houses feel different if you've just woken up in them compared to if you've been up all night. For me, there's something about this place that gives me the creeps. What a windy night. I don't want to go outside today. While I'm reformatting, what can I do? Hmm. Oh crud, I've got to start the reformatting. This is very dark. This is very, very dark. I wouldn't know if there was someone just in front of me. Or behind me. Just as well I'm not a pussy that's afraid of the dark. 